And now to another team which sits at 5-2 and two in its division and hopes to play the role of more than just spoiler the rest of the way. I'm talking about the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And for more on the Gophers, we bring in one of the voices of Minnesota football, Mike Grimm. Mike, it's been up and down. This team gave away a potential road win at Penn State. They played really well against Maryland. The offense went nowhere against Iowa, and they escaped Rutgers. So to put it in a nutshell, I'm a little bit confused. Where do you see this team right now? Well, they're, the, the good news is they're five and two. Uh, you know, they're not that far away from being, you know, four and three. But then again, you flip it, and you, they're not that far away, as you mentioned, from winning a couple of times with Iowa and Penn State, some close losses. So I don't know if anybody knows the answer. They put a great quarter together to start the game, came out focused last week against Rutgers and up 21-3. And then, you know, not another touchdown offensively the rest of the day and, and uh, luckily able to survive and get out of there with a win, which was the key part of the whole thing. So, you know, the rest of October and November with, uh, with those three biggies looming in late November, Nebraska, Wisconsin, and Northwestern, uh, we'll, we'll certainly know by the end of the year who they are. But as weird as it sounds, I think seven games in, we're still, uh, we're still uh, forming an opinion there. Those of us who have followed Rodney Smith know how dangerous he can be, but he's up over 800 yards rushing already, and Mikey's been really effective in the return game. Has he exceeded expectations even inside that locker room? Well, I think he's a popular player in the locker room, so I think everyone had high hopes for him. He had a great year as a, as a redshirt freshman last year. I will say this, I think because Shannon Brooks had the dazzling runs last year as a freshman that Rodney Smith probably got lost in the wash a little bit from that angle. And I think Rodney was probably striving this year to show one he could break a long one, and he did that at Maryland. And then he did it last week with a kick return to show some, you know, getaway ability, so to speak. And he's also a grinder. I mean, he can make a four-yard game an eight-yard gain and make an eight-yard gain a 12-yard gain and when you have Brooks back there as well it really becomes a nice duo even in practice uh, Tracy Clays was just telling me today that one of the nice things is they alternate reps so uh, not only are they fresh in games but they're fresh throughout the week and uh, the number three guy's not bad either in Kobe McCrary who had over 170 yards in a game earlier this year. Gophers in Champaign this weekend. Our BTN tailgate show will be there, and that game can only be seen right here on the Big Ten Network. Mike Grimm, as always, good to catch up, my friend. Enjoyed it. Thank you.